Hi guys, this is Sorcerer Zero, and this is a home brew review. This is for Austin Home Brew Supplies Munich Spiced Porter. Now this is a uh, this is a porter that's supposed to come in at about 5.8 percent. Ours came in at about 6.4. It comes with coffee malt, brown malt, black patent, and care Munich, brewer's gold hops, and an additive pack that includes cinnamon, nutmeg, mace, and sweet orange peel. I'm really not sure why they included the mace. It might have been for extra sweetness. I also added an extra alcohol pack, which is why ours came out at 6.4 instead of 5.8, and an extra texture pack so that it come out just a little bit thicker because that's how we like our porters, just a touch thicker. This did carbonate well, but it doesn't have too much of a head, which isn't bad. After all, it is a porter. Porters aren't supposed to have those huge, thick heads that stouts are. Mmm. The aroma is actually quite nice. It's not necessarily spicy, a spicy aroma. It is a malty aroma. Now, just a side note, the yeast I used was not any of the recommended yeast from Austin Homebrew Supply. I used A10 Darkness from Imperial Yeast. I love Imperial Yeast. You can brew it cold right out of the fridge, and I have never yet had a failure with an imperial yeast now that it's moved on from cans. Mm. You know, even with that extra texture, even with that extra texture pack, this is not very thick. I get a lot of that black, that black malt in there. Not an enormous amount of the spices, and a lot of a lot of that backyard tang that porters can have that make them interesting. Uh, porters that have that are, are really, really nice to drink because every single sip you're getting something just a little bit different. If you get chocolate in one sip, you might get cherry in another. You might get nuts in, in yet another. The flavor can't keep on changing. And I think our, uh, our extract brew actually did pretty well doing that. Maybe a little bit of the sweet orange peel came out in it. It's really not bad. Yeah, I really, I, I'm actually pretty happy with this one. I think maybe next time I will add, I would add the spice pack a little further towards the end instead of at the 15 minute mark, maybe at the five minute mark. I'm really, I'm pretty happy with this. And I think that I would consider getting it again from, um, from Austin Homebrew Supply. But well, guys, if you're into home brewing, you should definitely try this because Austin Homebrew Supply has some pretty good packs, especially extract for those new to, uh, for those new to brewing or those who don't want the hassle of dealing with all grain. And this makes a pretty excellent porter. 